In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to be taking a look at the integral of x raised to the negative one-half over one plus x to the one-third dx. Now, to start out with, um, I'm going to take a look at that denominator, and I'm going to see that I've got a one plus an x raised to a power. And then I'm going to think about all the different integrals that I have, that I know, as far as formula goes. And then I'm going to recall that the integral of one over 1 plus u squared du is going to give me that arc tangent. And so that's one that we know. And so if I can get this in such a way that I've got a u squared underneath there, all right, then, and I've obviously get that one on top as well, then I'm going to probably be able to integrate this. So then the next thing you've got to think about is, okay, what could I let x be raised to the one-third power you know, what power am I going to get it when I square it to get that one-third? All right, so if you take a look at x to the one-sixth and then square it, that's going to give me x to the two-sixth, which is going to give me that x to the one-third, which is what I need it to be. So there's where I'm going to start with my u. I'm going to let my u equal x to the one-sixth. All right, now, if I do that, and from there, you would take the derivative of both sides here. So you do a du, and then you get a 1 over 6 x to the negative 5, 6 dx. And then dividing both sides, you get a 1 over a 1 6 x to the negative 5, 6 du equals dx. And then all of a sudden, you've got a really nasty expression here that you would have to go substituting back in. All right, so the traditional thing here, probably not going to be the best idea. Okay, so what I'm going to do to make the substituting back in a little bit easier is if I take this expression and I solve it for x. I can solve this for x real easy by um, taking both power, both sides raised to the 6th power. That's going to give me a u to the 6 equaling x. All right, raising both of those to the 6th power. All right, now when I take the derivative, I'm going to have a 6u to the 5th du, and then just a 1 dx there, which is going to make it a whole lot simpler when I go to plug that back in. All right, so let's uh, go to plugging this back in now. So we're going to have the integral, all right, and then for that x, I'm going to replace it with a u to the 6th, and then raised to the negative one-half power all over a 1 plus, changing that u, or that x, into a u to the 6th, raised to the one-third power. All right, and then replacing dx with the 6u to the 5th du. Okay, now we're going to do power raised to power, simplify these inside here, pull the 6 out. If I pull that 6 out, let's go ahead and simplify this. I'll have a u to the negative 3 on top. I'll have a 1 plus u raised to the second power. And then going ahead and leaving that u to the fifth du right there for the moment. <clears throat> okay, now let's put these two together, multiply those, multiplying those, um, adding those like bases. We're going to have a 6 integral of u squared over 1 plus u squared du. <clears throat> Still not quite to that. <coughs> However, the easiest way now to handle this would be to do um, long division on that rational expression there. So if I put my u squared on the inside, let's go ahead and add a plus zero for placeholder there, and then putting the u squared plus one on the outside. u squared into u squared goes one time. One times that will be u squared uh, plus one. Subtracting there, we'll lose that. Zero minus one there is going to give me a minus one. So one minus one over u squared plus one. So there comes that integral that we already know. So then taking this expression and replacing here, I'm going to have a six times the integral of one minus one over u squared plus one du. And then I can um, integrate each of these individually now. I can integrate one uh, with the du is going to give me a, a u really easily and quickly there. So 6 with a u. All right, we know this is arc tangent u. So minus arc tangent of u and then plus c. And now I can replace what we said 
u is. Now originally I said u was going to be x to the 1 6, so that's what we want to replace it with. So 6 times x to the 1 6 minus arctan x to the 1 6 and then plus c. All right, so um, once getting started on this, not too bad. Just picking and choosing what you're going to let that U be and then how you're going to actually replace it into that integral to make it um, a whole lot easier to manipulate. Definitely, thanks for watching. Um, if the videos are helpful, be sure to share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.